Hello. I've been turning the Atom Smasher prototype into a game, and that means a lot of work on the UI, and uh, now that I've done a lot of that work, I'm looking back on the prototype and just getting the creeps. It's so awful. Um, the user interface is unusable, and I don't know why I got so many downloads. Uh, but, um, even though I haven't made very much progress in releasing new levels, the interface now is pretty good, to the point where I'm going to go ahead and record a new tutorial in the, with a new interface, but I don't think you're going to need it. Um, it's pretty pretty easy to get the hang of now that, the, now that the interface isn't clouding everything up. Each level teaches you one concept in the game, uh, except for the geothermal facility, which, um, I mean, you do learn how to use condensers and fridges, but it's very freeform, so you can, you can, do, that, you can do a lot of things there. I'm going to take you through the recording studio, which has a target of 100 MeV, because this is the only time when I really think you might get a little confused. Uh, well, aside from the geothermal facility, which, which I've left confusing on purpose, because it's the last level in the, in the prototype. This mouse sensitivity is not just cosmetic. Uh, there is a bug in beta, beta Unity where the mouse can go a little finicky, so if your mouse goes off the walls, come back and turn the mouse sensitivity down. You'll be fine. This is our linear accelerator tunnel. If I want to go back to the menu, I can click here. So our point is we want to get to 100 MeV. At the moment, we are at 1 MeV. They said that their wiring was wrong. What they were referring to is that this is normally yellow and this is normally red. So they have these two wires backwards. And that's why this level might be a little bit difficult if you've never, uh, if, if you've, well, th this game has a concept called the exchange stack, which you probably will not um, innately grasp. It's not something that shows up in other games. Anyhow, we don't have a lot of options here. Uh, we want to accelerate. We want to get more stuff. We want to make our particles go faster. And um, this is our particle accelerator. So that seems like the right option. Oh, it automatically plugged itself in, automatically attached the water. Everything looks good. We're at 46 MeV. I think that's nice. We went from 1 to 46. We're halfway there, almost. Oh, and I can put the water back on the wall. Nice. Let's do it again. So this time I hit Custom. Custom means that you just buy the last one again, and you can see that the output is still set up. It's not going to matter much at this in this level, but in the later level, uh, in, ge in the geothermal level, there are like sensors and stuff, and it can be a pain in the butt to set them up over and over and over and over. So it's much easier to have this by custom. Oh, water has gotten too hot, and the power is wrong. Look at this. This is a heavy power connection. We need a basic power connection. That's the yellow one. So we're pulling the red one, and we want to pull the yellow one. This is where the exchange stack comes in handy. The idea is, when you're looking up here going, what's going on? Hopefully you will see that that there is this thing that's following you around. Oh, there we go. We pulled the red wire down, and left the yellow wire up there, and now the yellow wire is going in, and everything is working. Hooray! Penny Anti Collider. Are we going fast enough? Yeah, we're at 100 MeV. That's as fast as these little these little guys can take us. Needs heavy power. Oh no! Well, that's just because we forgot to pop it off the stack, right? That's the exchange stack. It can actually get a whole lot more complicated than that. For example, you can run this exchange option. And, uh, and there's a whole bunch of other things you can do with it, but the basic idea is once you know that it exists, hopefully you'll be able to use it. Yay, we hit it exactly. We're so talented. Let's go back to the menu. The geothermal facility, I'm not going to give you a walkthrough of it, but I will show it to you. This is a lot more complex. It's got eight options. Uh, including sensor rigs, water sources, glycol fridges. It's a lot. It's it's a lot more freeform and aggressive. So uh, you'll have fun with this. I hope it's uh, where you can really start to stretch your wings. But it's not as complicated as it gets because in the later levels we're going to have to deal with vacuum and we're going to have to deal with deviation um, and we're going to have to have a whole bunch of fun with that stuff. So I hope to see you then. Uh, maybe a week, more or less. Uh, but this version is a lot more playable than the old version, so I think I will get it started.